Hello everyone, it's Melanie here with Vintage Hill Studio. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a paper casting project for a dimensional Valentine's Day card. All of the supplies I used for today's card can be found below the description area on my YouTube channel. So first of all, these are called cookie stampers. I've got a little Dixie cup, some liquid watercolor. I'll be using that Mod Podge and a little foam dauber here and of course single ply toilet paper. This, These are my casting supplies. So let's get started. I've torn off quite a few squares of toilet paper and I am just playing around here. I've never used these cookie stampers before. I thought I'd give it a try. See if I could get a cool paper casting element using these cookie stampers. So I was trying to figure out the best way to hold these because it does have that release handle, a spring-loaded release handle on the other side, which makes it a little difficult. So I just found out if I place those in an empty Dixie cup and then use the other one with my water, these become a good holder for my cookie stampers. As you can see, I'm trying to be very gentle with this foam dauber just to really push that paper down into the crevices of this cookie stamper adding a little bit of water at a time. I don't want to tear the paper, so I'm not adding too much water, but I really want to press these down around the edges and across the word here, the word love. Then you can see I'm just using a paper towel and a cotton towel to kind of soak up as much water as I can. I'm going to actually do this for both of those cookie stampers, and I'm going to set those aside to dry overnight to really let them dry. This was a truly an experiment as you go type of project. Um, I didn't know how these were going to turn out. I uh, tried different, you know, things with each one. For, for instance, I was experimenting with some liquid watercolor just to see if I could tint the paper from the back side and I didn't know how this was going to work so just giving it a try here and we'll see how it comes out after it's dried. So I did that and you'll see a little later I'm also going to try to use some watercolors from a watercolor palette. Again this was all experimentation type of project so sometimes it turns out sometimes it doesn't. So you could see I used a little bit of Mod Podge to kind of reinforce the paper fibers and get them to stick together and look at how these came out. Now if I could leave well enough alone I would but I can't so you'll see I've got a little a little failure here and also some success. Let's just chalk it up to trying something new. I think these turned out pretty cute. I really like the way they are in the white and I should have left them alone but sometimes you can't leave well enough alone or at least that's my problem sometimes. So I just took a pair of scissors and quickly trimmed around these and they came out beautiful. Just trying to trim around the edges as closely as possible, you know, because it is going to be a 3D element on the front of my card this week. Hey, I'm so excited that you joined me today, and if you can learn something from some of my fails or oopses, that's good. Maybe I'll inspire you to try something new, too. And don't be afraid of the failure sometimes. That's how we learn, right? So there's my castings, and if I could have left well enough alone again, I would have, but I brought over my watercolor palette, and I'm going to try this out a little bit on the toilet paper to see how it bleeds on the paper. So I used this little scrap of toilet paper that I cut away from the heart there and you can see with a little bit of water, pretty good. With a lot of water, then of course your, your colors are going to run a bit. Of course, because I was then in the experimental mood, I brought over some of the sewing pattern tissue and I'm going to try to do the same thing with paper casting with tissue paper instead of the toilet paper and you'll see how this turns out. As you can see with the tissue paper, I opted to use some liquid glue mixed with water and use my same foam dauber to get that down into the tissue paper and see how that would work of holding that together. 
As you can see, I opted to use little bitty pieces of the tissue paper. It was easier to work with as I pressed this into the cookie stampers. And that seemed to work pretty well. Again, really getting that pressed in there so that I'll be able to read the word love and see the details from the other cookie stamper as far as the puffed hearts go. Now I'm going to set those aside to dry overnight as well, or just letting them air dry, and I'll show you how these turned out in just a second. So if you need help getting out these out, remember you can use that spring-loaded little handle there and just push them out. And look how cute these turned out. And again, I should have left them alone, just plain, but I couldn't. So this time I brought over a marker to see how that would work on the tissue. And I tried to kind of highlight the word love and go around the hearts just for some, so they'd really stand out. So in hindsight, I'd have to say that I liked all of the paper castings without the watercolor and without the markers, but I was experimenting, I went for it, and so I'm actually going to use one of these on my card this week. I picked one favorite and I'm going to go forward with that on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. Again, all the supplies and dimensions for today's card can be found in the description below my YouTube channel. I'm so happy you joined me today. I'm glad you went on this experimental excursion with me. I would love to hear your comments, see if you ever experiment with anything and kind of hang in there till the end. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as one. And I hope to see you again next week. Happy crafting, everyone.